Okay, um, thank you very much. Um, number one, looking at the economic situation in, in the country, some of us have begun to contemplate um, and speculate around the claim that Misaka in the HRM is an economist. And since he is said to have graduated from the University of Zambia, we are throwing a challenge to Yunza. Yunza must do two things, if not three things. One, the University of Zambia should tell us whether Misaka in the HDM was attending class or absconding. And if he was attending class, would want to know whether really the University of Zambia is producing sound economies. Because one of the reasons for which he was entrusted with the responsibility of being president is because he marketed himself as one that would manage the economy better. And looking at his performance, we throw a challenge to the University of Zambia to recall that degree because it is damaging the reputation of that high institution. If not, if the products are with what the standard so far exhibited by Misaka and HRM, they may have to close the School of Economics at University of Zambia. Because the performance is not only embarrassing, but it has caused untold misery on the people of Zambia. Looking at the cost of living and the near collapse a, an economy that is almost collapsing that we are witnessing as a country. Two, we are concerned at the continued advocacy by the U.S. over the advancement of what they are calling human rights to do with gay and lesbian rights. The vice president of the U.S. is coming to Zambia. This is an op in time for Misaka in the HLMA to show and state clearly, express his commitment to the ethics, principles, and cultural values of the Republic of Zambia and the people of Zambia. And tell Madam Harris, when she comes, that they cannot impose their values on us as Zambians. We are a sovereign state, we enjoy the right to dictate to ourselves what we believe in and what we stand for. And for decades and generations, our culture is very clear. We do not believe in gay and lesbian rights. We don't believe in a man and a man getting married or being in a sexual relationship. Or a woman and a woman being in that kind of a relationship. We expect the president to represent us, the Zambian people and stating emphatically the way Ruto has done, the way Kenyatta did, the way Edgar Lungu did, the way Museven has done, the way Mugabe did, the way Masan Monangago has done, the way most of African leaders have done, stating their position, that they can relate with America, but that does not mean that we want to impose our values on America or America imposing their values on us. That clear message we're expecting from Misaka in the we are preparing, working with other stakeholders, the church and others, that should Misaka in the fail to state what we stand for as a people, we will picket, we will protest, and send a strong message to Madam Harris to take back to Biden, who is actually married to a woman, by the way. And she should also take that message with herself, because she's coming with her husband, by the way. And her husband is a male, he's not a woman. Thank you very much, and God bless.